Hi, and welcome to the Lou Volpe Jazz Cast, where we talk about and listen to music and some ideas behind the music. I've played guitar backing some wonderful artists, and I'd like to talk about their influence on my recordings and live performances. We're brought to you by Jazz Guitar Records, louvolpejazz.com. You can check there for information on our latest release, Before and After. This is episode number 53, and I'd like to start off with a little twangy rendition. This is called In the Wind. In the wind. Here's a bluesy one called One Monday. Thank you. 
that's the bluesy one Monday. Here's a tune called Return. Return. Here's Wonderful Moon. I had the pleasure of playing with the great 
brilliant organist, Joey DeFrancisco, on his first three albums. I got to know the producer very well, Dr. George Butler, such a wonderful guy. And the thing that really struck me about Joey's playing was his interpretation of the blues in whatever groove he was playing. It had that blues element to it. I really loved playing with Joey. So let's dedicate this next tune to Joey. And it's called Up Front Street. Front Street. Thank you. 
That's all around town. Well, we had a great time putting this jazz cast together and hope you enjoyed it and will subscribe to hear more. We are Jazz Guitar Records, louvolpejazz.com. Please check the website out for information on our latest release, Before and After. We are getting a lot of radio play all across the country and beyond. So we hope you check us out, louvolpejazz.com. Please join us next Friday for our new jazz cast featuring more samba, soul, rhythm, jazz, and blues, all the good stuff. We're looking forward to seeing you then. All the best to you always. Hi, this is guitarist Lou Volpe, and I'd like to introduce you to my new album, Before and After. This is a unique album for me in that I did all the production and arrangements myself, and they're mostly original songs. It's the first time I've ever done that. I felt it was about time that I recorded my own ideas just the way I wanted, and I used something I call a guitar choir to take the place of a horn section in the background where I have multiple guitars playing the orchestration. Something like the great Les Paul did many years ago, plus a great rhythm section. The before is represented by melodies sweet and simple, while the after is in a fresh, rhythm-oriented attitude of the song and the solos. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>